let's talk about markups. Uh, markups are what is um, primarily signature of eDrawings Professional. It's an exclusive tool just for professional users. Um, you're used to doing markups in the context of a drawing where you have three standard views, the dimensions, your bill of material. Um, but a lot of times you're not there yet in the design. You know, if you're concepting, um, you're not sure what parts you're going to use. You don't know the part numbers. Um, and you're really just trying to get feedback on whether this is the concept you want to move forward with. So go ahead and click on markup and see how eDrawings Professional can help you collaborate. Uh, this menu isn't that intuitive, but I'll show you how you can use it. You'll click on markup, and then what you want to do is create a new comment, and that basically starts, it's kind of like a c conversation thread within the context of your design. So it's already uh, listed my name. I don't know where that is mapped from. It's kind of cool. It knows who I am, but it's kind of creepy. Um, but you're in the you're in a comment now and you just have to choose your tool. So I'm going to choose label and when I click on label it gives me some more options. Um, I want a label without a leader. I'm going to click on that and wait for your cursor feedback. Make sure you have a little A next to your cursor so you know that you're about to type something. So click here and I'll say nice concept. I'd like to see at least one more, please. Okay. When I click on the green check mark, you're going to see that the text runs off on the screen. But there is a way to control that. You just have to shrink down that dialog box, make sure wrap text is selected, and click OK. And then you can move it around. That's a little more legible. Okay, I still have more feedback, so I don't need to add a new comment. I can just add it within the same comment so that all my feedback is stored in that one comment. So here I'm going to choose uh, another label with a leader. I'm going to point to that knob, say, check with suppliers on available knob diameters. Okay, again, shrink that text box down, click OK, and then reposition as needed. And then we can throw on a dimension. Wait for your cursor feedback. I want inches for my comment. And it says select a face. I want to select an edge here. I'm going to say this edge. And I'm going to add to that confirm what we have in stock. Does it match? And you can move that over so it's not too distracting. And let's zoom out. I think that's it. Okay, now we can click on markup. We're done with markups. And all we have to do is go to eDrawings, go to, you'll see this little pull-up bar, but you can go to File, Save, or just click on the Save button. So we clicked on the Save button. You're saving it as an assembly file without having a SolidWorks license. You're saving that information in this assembly. So click on um, the Fit to Window, and then let's just go ahead and close it. It might have asked me to save it because I did a zoom to fit. And then let's open that assembly again. And you can't see my comments, you only see the stamps, but if you click on markup and click on my comment, you can see what my comments are. Now let's say I'm, uh, you know, another collaborator. I can add yet some more comments and I might have a question on, you know, this part right here or this dimension. Um, maybe I want to add some text saying, um, you know, we used this, we tried this concept last year, last year, and it didn't work because blah, 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 blah. Maybe not an issue now, question mark. So, 
Um, now, it, it is listing it as me, but whoever the uh, next collaborator is, it would have their comment. So it would actually separate them very readable. To recap, I've added two different comment groups simulating two different collaborators. So I made the first comment group here and then another comment group. Uh, even if you have one person giving you the feedback, they can still add multiple comments. Maybe one comment group is about packaging and the other comment group is about dimensions and the design. When you're done, um, the collaborator or the person giving you the feedback should go to File, Save, and then Close Out of eDrawings. And then the designer or the engineer who's going to be actually making changes to the native file should first open it in SolidWorks and then, say, on another monitor, open eDrawings and open that same file. Uh, if you open it in eDrawings first, then SolidWorks will have to open the native file as read-only, and you don't want to do that since you're making changes. So you can open this native file in both programs at the same time, um, but just be sure to open it in SolidWorks first so that you can write to the file.